So this is a little matrix I use to work out my curve settings. And I was lazy when I got my bigger 20 and 30 watt lasers. I didn't bother running this test and I just bolted on the modules and started cutting and everything was hunky dory. But today I ran the test and it highlighted a problem. Now I need to do a video about exactly how this works, but it's the most accurate way of working out what your curve is. And it's more important the bigger the laser you have. On a 5 and 10 watt laser it's not generally so important because generally the curve size in each direction is the same. But as the lasers get bigger so does the beam and the beam becomes a rectangle and that can create a problem on your curve. Anyway let's talk about the curve. So this is the test cut out and you can see the big gap at the end that's the gap I measure. But what interested me was the black lines in between all the parts they shouldn't really be there and let me just zoom in and I'll show you what I mean so I thought well this this is wrong what have I done wrong this is just quickly showing you how I I check whether the wood will fit inside the slots now this one is showing zero curve and then and this one is showing once I've altered the curve but I do that in a full video anyway what concerns me is, and, and it, it's, it was alarming, is once I turn the pieces over, you can see the slots become thinner. So that highlights what the problem is. And the problem is my laser is not perpendicular to the workpiece. So instead of getting a nice through cut, it's cutting at an angle. So I went down into the workshop and put a engineering square on my laser and I did find out that it was running out in actually both directions so you can see here I'm measuring it front and sideways this is the back plate that on my ray 5 I have to take off the old back plate and put on that triangular back plate which allows the v-slot to mount onto the back plate anyway once that's on once that on the laser slides down but I then converted my original back plate you can see the addition of the four holes in this one here and that allows me to fit my other laser modules so there is the v-slot bracket there is the um, original back plate and then that allows me to fit my other lasers that is my 30 that is my 5 that is my 10 and that is my 20. Now don't worry about that thing on the bottom. I'm going to do a full video on that and you may find that interesting. Anyway, make sure your laser's upright. Otherwise, you're going to get wonky cuts. Catch me in the next one. Cheers for now.